this and teasing this for a little while, but as you know, my company is really good friends with another nerf company. They came to end war, they're good buddies of mine, and they are Containment Crew. Containment Crew has been providing a litany of different services for the hobby for a while. Uh, one of the big things that they do is they concatenate a bunch of suppliers and then store that inventory, take on the holding costs, and ship it in small batches for bespoke projects to nerfers around the world. Like, they do a really, really good job of that. That means that they're like a one-stop shop for a lot of your different modification materials. They've got stuff from Slidev. They've got stuff that they've designed themselves, like the Desolator Cage that I didn't know that they designed themselves. They've got a lot of other stuff. They carry motors from a variety of people. I think that they carry both... Uh, the make test battle motors. I'm not sure if they have foam blast motors yet or not, but a lot of their stuff is compatible with them. And they are also, uh, they've also got a collaboration going on. The bottom line is, I really like this company. I really like everything that they do. I like that they're like selling things for HVZ players and they themselves are HVZ players. They play a lot of HVZ. They throw HVZ parties. Like, they're just really good friends of mine at this point. And the best kind of friends are the ones that you can collaborate with professionally. And that's what this video is about. So my good friend EOC or Pat, as he's been known on the channel, um, is, is one heck of a 3D designer. So he and I have kind of brewed up some of these parts and they're all a little bit different and I want to discuss each and every one of them. But I want to preface it by saying the Containment Crew is selling these parts. They all come with the direct seal of approval and Containment Crew has phenomenal customer service. So I'm like very, very comfortable and honestly pretty thrilled that they're the people that are going to be soliciting bringing some of Pat's designs that he and I worked on for Blasters for Me to the modding world so that we don't have to do it because Pat and I are just not in a position like we design things for specific projects that we're going to use at our events and we don't have the, the infrastructure the containment crew does to take on orders and I've gotten a lot of people asking me like, Drek, where can I buy your Apollo foregrip? Well, uh, that is one of the parts. So I'll start with that since it's the only one that doesn't go on a strike right now. The Apollo is one of my favorite rival blasters. I think it's the best Springer blaster and it's really cool because it's just out of the box goodness. Now, this is printed in translucent red, but the one that I'm going to showcase is printed in black. It's got the Fang logo on it. It's a very clean Fang logo. And then it's got these set screws, so you can see that it locks in four different places here and creates a very easy replacement for the pump grip. I use it in my modification guide, but now you can purchase it yourself if you so desire. This is a very comfortable grip. It's so much better than the original one. It's not even funny. I really like angled foregrips and it's large enough that I can really get a good wrap around it. So again, like a lot of these parts were designed with my personal ergonomics in mind and I am one of the most picky people about that out there. So that's the primary advantage of this is that you get like things that I use personally in builds uh, manufactured to those exact specifications and a lot of them have my logo on them. So if that's something that's valuable to you, it's on the parts because EOC and I designed them. Um, if you want them without the Fang logo, uh, tough pancakes, I guess. Uh, so we will move on to the Strike foregrip because it's logical, foregrip to foregrip, right guys? This is designed specifically for the Strife, uh, blue grip on blue Strife here, but this is an AFG or an angled foregrip. It fits right on like that. It's very comfy. It's low profile as well. Like you could still realistically holster with this foregrip here, but without this foregrip, I find myself gripping like this, which is less comfortable. My pinky gets caught in that weird nubbin that shouldn't exist, but does. And with it on there, I have a much more comfortable kind of approach. And this is like kind of a hybrid of a bunch of different things that I like. So this is similar to this AFG. It reminds me a little bit of this AR-15 foregrip, although less like super ergo, like it takes features. There's a small notch in here for your finger to rest in. Like it's small hands, big hands, etc. Like this is... I don't want to say that it's the best foregrip out there because everybody's hands and preferences are different. Some people really like VFGs, but for me at least, in my preferences, that's what this was built for, and I think that it's very, very nice. So it is a very solid uh, strife angled foregrip. It really is designed just for the strife. That's why it fits specifically into that nub there. However, you could put it on just about anything that has a foregrip rail attachment. So you could also put it on a rapid strike where I think it would be equitably comfortable, but we we might build something else for the rapid strike. I don't know necessarily. That's the really cool thing about this partnership is that once we have a part that we're really happy with, we just send it to containment crew and they make it available for use. So like the 
hope here is that this will exist into perpetuity. Now, another big complaint that comes up around the strife is that if you have larger hands, you should be able to see here, you kind of wrap into this bandolier sling point attachment, and that is uncomfortable for a lot of people. Now, EOC did what a lot of other people have done, but he made a slightly different version of it with a little bit of contouring. This is what we're calling the heel piece, and so it slides on like that, and then one screw goes in, that screw locks the heel piece in to the strife handle itself. The uh, fang signature on this one is on the bottom, which is kind of cool. It's where I sign the stripes anyway, so if you're going to cover up the signature, why not cover it up that way? And now it sits flush, so this kind of just extends the stripes natural handle profile so that you can grip it a little bit differently however you want to do it. But it's uh, honestly a, a sincere ergonomic improvement. I think that it is very, very nice and it's cool that they did that. Now, this is my, uh, my hooligan sleeper stripe and that it has the ultra sweet hooligan wheels inside. And that means that it is an excellent candidate to show you guys which one's which. All right, this is the battery door that I don't use. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off because these were designed to work with the stock thumb screw here. Or not the, the stock screw, not a thumb screw. To give you perspective of what I mean, I will give you a sneak peek of this exact same design on Cortana. This is the first time you guys have seen Cortana. There's a full build video on this. I don't want to like sneak preview it too much, but you can see that this is uh, one that we printed specifically and we decided that we like this battery door so very, very much because it fits the Graphene uh, 2S that I like using as well as a few slightly larger batteries very, very nicely. So it's a perfect replacement. It comes in a variety of colors for your various builds. This one utilizes a thumb screw. However, these do not. So there's a much cheaper version that's much easier for containment crew to fit uh, print that also, if you take a look at the inside, will hold slightly larger batteries. And then this one is the one that's designed for my needs. And uh, it is the slightly more expensive version. However, this version uh, is, is a much lower profile. It kind of follows the lines of the strife. Speaking of following the lines, like both of these are easily holsterable. I think that the angled one that doesn't have as much space is a little bit nicer, but if I show you, uh, it's particularly obvious on this V1, the stripe has natural lines that come off the back, through here, and then exit out here. On a regular strife battery door, for seemingly no reason at all, they break that up and you get this pattern. You keep this white stripe, but it, uh, it does not follow that line through to there to there. And that always kind of bugged me. So these have been designed with a line that grooves all the way through, uh, does the, the fang symbol, or if you're really just not into my signature, you could tell people that it's like a pulse, I guess, because this is where the, the beating heart, whatever. Uh, I'm not funny. Um, Anyway, it follows the lines of the strife, it expands your battery tray, and it works with the regular strife screw. So, uh, this is a fine, did I not engage these threads? Come on, strife, behave. There we go. So, now it follows the natural lines, you have plenty of space in there to hold extra batteries, it's secure, it's flush, it fits very nicely like with the shell itself, you can see that like, it's not like water or anything is going to get in through there. It's just as uh, flush as the original battery door. So those are the various parts that we're offering right now. And again, there will be more as we go on and on and on. However, um, I like this one a little bit better. I'm a big fan of the foregrip. And I think that this honestly makes or breaks the Artemis for me. Like I hate using Artemis's, Artem Plural of all of the rival blasters is very difficult, guys, but uh, this is a, a really nice upgrade to the Artemis overall. And I mean, I'm sure the containment crew will print it in any sort of color if you ask them nicely enough. Uh -huh.
that is not so much a review, but more of an announcement of all of the different things that EOC and I are kind of bringing to market with our friends at, over at Containment Crew. And I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you will at least consider checking them out. The prices are very fair, uh, considering like the printer time and the design that went into all of these things. And uh, if you'd like them for your build, you could essentially copy my work now that my parts are going to be available online uh, for purchase from anyone. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully this helps you with your modifications into the future. And as always, much love. Nerf on. Check out.